on on that, uh, on the question of the dropping of the atom bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, um, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure I'm speaking for 99.99 recurring percent of uh, VBOs, mm. uh, we are sure that that was the right thing to do. It caused um, much damage where the bombs fell, but it was a lot less damage than would have been caused to us mm. as prisoners of war. Um, they have uh, uncovered, many years ago, they've uncovered uh, from the Japanese archives, orders that uh, in the event of Jap Japan losing the war in a uh, uh, conventional way, mm. that the prisoners of war would have finished up in those trenches around the camps and we would have just been um, mowed down and killed. You didn't know this at the time? No, we didn't know this at, at the time. These are the, tren the trenches so Around you can't the get out easily. That's right. Well, well, they actually had another purpose. They were graves planned for you. Uh, and the uh, machine guns in the corner, in each of the four corners, just... Um, My God. Uh, that would have been the end of us. If the fighting had gone on, it would have cost um, very considerable lives in the Allied forces, the Americans and the British uh, fighting, uh, British were fighting in Burma, mm -hmm. the <clears throat> Americans were fighting um, in the Pacific. Um, I've heard since I'm home of many of my friends who were in the army um, uh, after VE Day, they were under orders um, to be uh, shipped out mm. to Singapore and that area. Yeah. Um, so they would have been uh, uh, subject to becoming casualties. Mm. Um, the it's not terribly well known, but the Americans had bombed um, Japan very heavily. Tokyo had been very heavily bombed. There were uh, calamitous. Uh, deaths by bombing of Japan mm. and if the war hadn't finished by the dropping of the atomic bombs, two atomic bombs, uh, these bombings of Japan of the homeland would have continued um, and uh, the civilians, mainly the civilians in Japan would have suffered far far worse than they suffered at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You think Hiroshima and Nagasaki uh, frightened the Japanese into surrendering and letting you go home? Undoubtedly. Mm. No question about it. Mm. Uh, that um, was the reason that the Japanese finally caved in.